Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be learning how to import some particular schedule or maybe your resources or activities from some other formats to your Primavera. It might be a Microsoft project format .msp. It might be some uh, Excel format or it might be your own Primavera P6 format. And if you want to club your schedule to this particular schedule, then how can you do that? So first of all, uh, we'll go to our file option and here you see the option called as import you'll click on this import option you can see that you can import these four formats only so one is your microsoft project dot xml format then your uh, spreadsheet dot xlsx then your primavera p6 in both the formats of xer and xml so we'll first see how to import dot xer format of primavera p6 we'll go to next so you want to import the project resource or role. So I'll choose the project. We'll go to next. So we'll have to choose the file that we want to import. So I have saved one file in my uh, desktop. So you see here one file with ITC export. Okay. Or maybe ITC primary export. We can uh, export any import anyone. So I'll choose ITC primary export and I will click on open. So I'll go to next. So you see what you want to do, whether you want to create a new project with this particular file that you are importing or otherwise you want to uh, add it into the existing project, like it will get uh, appended in the project, whatever activities and all you ha already have, it will add the new projects activity to this or you want to update the existing project or you want to replace the existing project or you want to completely ignore this project. So we will create new project with this where you want to import this particular file. So you'll have to choose an EPS for this. So maybe we will do it in maintenance EPS and we'll click on plus. Then we'll click on next and you can change the uh, layout name. You can add it the layout also if you want by clicking on modifying what all you want to update, what all you do not want to update like activity codes, resources, and you can click on okay after modifying this. We are not changing the default settings. So we'll go to next and you are ready to import. If you click on finish, then your file will get imported. So you see some small, small windows popping and our file has got imported. It seems and it says the import was successful. Okay. So to see the changes, we need to go to projects tab and in the maintenance, you see now one new project with the name of it building construction, which has 13 activities. See, I imported the same project on which we were working. And now you see that the same project has just uh, got inserted into the maintenance EPS. So if you will open this particular project also, then you will see that the project will be just similar to the existing project with the same number of activities and everything will be same for this particular project. Okay. So we will go to projects and we will open our basic project once again. So this is how you can import the Primavera P6 uh, project into your system. Now we will go for importing something else. Maybe you can try for Microsoft project. If you have some Microsoft project, you can import that also in the similar fashion. It will get imported. There will be no change. Just your format should be dot M, uh, MPX or dot XML. Okay. Now we will try something with spreadsheet. So what I did is. I have already uh, imported, exported one particular uh, Excel file if I show you. So this is the file that I imported with 1 to 13 number of activities. Uh, and I have only exported the activities. You see site clearance to handover, their start dates, finish date, resource list. So this is how the basic export file of uh, Excel looks like. Uh, Primavera assigns some particular codes to every certain header. Like for activity ID, it will say task underscore code. Similarly, for WBS code, it will say WBS underscore ID. For activity name, it will say task underscore name. So if you want to import an Excel file to your Primavera, the very first necessity is you should have this row. Okay, so all the items that you want to import should have the titles or the codes that Primavera uses to import because with this code only Primavera will uh, try to sequence in its own system. Okay, so you should not delete this particular row. The only way to know these codes is you need to export some basic uh, your schedule from your Primavera, then only you will get to know that what is the code that Primavera uses for certain headers. Like suppose if you want to know 
that for baseline start what code primavera uses and what you'll have to do is you'll have to export one file with the column of baseline duration then only you will get to know okay how to do that simply you can go to primavera you can go to file you can go to your export button and in the spreadsheet you can go to next you can go to activities relationships expenses whatever you want you can go to next then you can click here then you can go to next now here you can modify see the active these options will get exported but if you want to uh, know the uh, something related to baseline duration then you will have to export this also and then you will have to click on okay then in the exported file you will have your baseline duration then only you will get to know that what is the code for baseline duration and then only you can import your baseline duration okay so now what we will do we will try to import this particular file with some changes in it. Like what will be the changes? We will add one particular activity of 14, but you see that the format is changed. So if you want to bring it in the same format, then before this number, you will have to put one comma here, just that, and it will come in the same format. Okay. And duration we are assigning as four, or maybe you will type like this and we will put the activity name as completion. That's it. So this and all we want to import. But suppose if you want to delete a certain row from here, like for example, you don't want maybe brickwork, then you can type small d here or capital D here. So it will delete this particular activity of brickwork from its data after importing and it will add this particular activity in your schedule. So now you can simply close this particular sheet. You see there is some user data also. You should not touch this user data because this is used by Primavera while importing. So we will close this file. Okay. And then we will try to import. We'll go to file. We'll click on import. We'll go to spreadsheet. We'll click on next. Now we have to choose the file that we want to import. So the file that we want to import is, we'll just check the name of the file. So it is ITC1 activities. So this is the file. So we'll click on open. We'll go to next. We'll click on activities because we have only created activities in this particular file that we are importing. So it is only showing the activities tab. But suppose in the spreadsheet that you have created, you also have expenses, resources, then these activity, these particular items will also get highlighted. You can choose what you want to import. But right now we only have activities in that file. That is why we can only go for activities. So you can only update your existing project with the imported file. But where you want to import? So you can choose the project where you want to import. So we will import in ITC1, which is our current project. We'll go to next and we'll click on finish. So the import is successful. Now you see in this particular activity has got uh, appended here 14 number completion with duration four that we chose but start and finish date since we did not choose any start and finish date it has assigned some random start and finish date to this particular activity also if you want to see then your brickwork activity i think which was your seventh number of activity has got deleted because we chose d for that particular activity so this is how you can update your or import your spreadsheet schedule from that from your spreadsheet files you can do that for MSP also. You can give it a try yourself. So that is all about importing the video. Thank you, everyone.